Hey folks, Quillian here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars. I've made a huge mistake. We've settled an area where everything is terrible. Uh, I'm just waiting for the next meteor storm to hit us and just, like, obliterate us and make it so that all of our people die. But, you know, until then, everything's going swell, and we're actually thinking about expanding, so hooray! Machine parts are slowly trickling in. Um, we are going to put in an order. Cargo, you notice we can't do a passenger rocket because our founder stage hasn't completed yet. I don't think we need any more drone hubs, or sorry, um, prefab buildings at all. I think we're basically going to be set up for that, which is kind of awesome. Um, I think, yeah, we're just going to order a bunch of electronics, because we're not building them yet. A bunch of polymers, because of the same reason. I'm going to go get a few machine parts, just to speed us up a little bit. Although, even then, I'm not sure. And I do want to get a little bit of food, just to give us a bit more of a buffer. But, other than that, it's just a question of piling up the stuff that we're not really in a position to work right now. There we go. 60 polymer, 60 electronics will last a good time. A few machine parts just to give us a bit more of a buffer in case something happens and we we run out because of a huge spike in demand while uh, that outstrips our ability to produce it. I think that's going to be good. I feel like I should name this. This is going to be the Sprout. There we go. So we got the Quill Rocket and the Sprout. I like it. Launch that, found new anomalies. Let's take a look at where our science ship is. You've got plenty of juice left. Why don't you wrap around here and do this? We might find, I think, new breakthroughs from these a lot. Yeah, breakthrough. Um, more to the magnetic filtering, storage compression. Storage compression, I believe, gives us... Right, more storage capacity, just passively, which is nice, too. My Earth Mars initiative is going to be important because we'll get more research more faster. Good, good, good. We've got plenty of storage space now. We did double up on our oxygen storage and water tower storage because we found out that um, the moxies don't work during dust storms. You've got a lot of debris over there. I don't know if it's like important to keep that area cleaned. I think in the older build that I played, like uh, when I was in San Francisco, um, they didn't dump the debris on the side, so this this would just fill up and stop working if no one did anything. I think mostly you set up these piles just to keep these areas cleaner so that you can build around here or something like that. And later on, we'll actually develop a tech to be able to make use of all this waste rock and we start cleaning this stuff up, which starts to feel pretty good. Okay, still have tons of concrete. If we are going to build another dome, and we are planning on that, we are going to need more. So I think I'll tap into the ultra-rich concrete over here, if we can get around the... Um, blocking stuff. We'll end up uh, mining a lot of this out over time. Low on polymers. Extractor AI breakthrough was developed. Oh! Metal extractors and rare metal extractors can work without crews. They work at 50 performance, which is basically the same performance as um, as if um, you had completely unskilled people working it. So if I did this, oh, it needs maintenance. Let me actually keep that off for now then because we don't have the machine parts. To maintain this but yeah now i don't know like if that like you mix and match you turn on the work shifts but close the work slots i guess you can do that and then presumably it works and we don't have to get people now if you do get geologists in there then you know you'll get more production overall but on the other hand we can do other things that is a nice breakthrough and dramatically changes how we think about our expansion going forward and just leave that off for now so it doesn't have to be maintained Resources are low. Polymers, machine parts, that's okay. Yeah, you can see the machine parts over here. We had to use some for some maintenance. I'm happy that we're going to deliver a little bit. Ah, now you're out. Did you actually do the maintenance over here? Oh, you did do the maintenance over here. All right, then I'll turn you on. I guess that minute that it was on was... I mean, if I start all these work shifts... No, I'm just say, Just say this. Oh, I don't actually have the tech yet. You derp. You derp. You don't have the tech. It's not going to run on its own yet. Uh, let's do these. Doesn't tend to be as much on the edges, but might still be some anomalies. Speaking of, RC Explorer, you're done over here. I'll bring you home for a charge, and then we'll send you out west. We've got this rocket ready to land. Now, I could land it somewhere else to get goods a little closer to where we're thinking about expanding. But I think that's, no, I think we can still land it over here. I think I'll actually put it there. Not much dust that's gonna cause problems. There are a little bit of debris over there that could block, but I think if we do this, we're gonna be in pretty good shape. So let's do that. We'll unload the goods over here. That's going to be fine. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna put you to medium thing just so that we finish refueling you rather than this one here first. Two rockets is a pretty sweet number. As long as you've got some fuel refining going on, and especially with this discounted refueling cost, um, two rockets is probably all we really need to keep things going well. 
A third would help speed up the early game a bit more, but after that, I don't know how much it matters. I don't know. She still has metal deposits over here that'll slowly get collected. Um, I suppose I could put a little universal storage over here. Or actually just a metal depot, perhaps. Just to encourage the drones to go and scooch things up. Let's go and do that for now. It might become a, a, um, a universal later on. Actually, we might want to just to like... Is Are you within range of an electronics? No. Tell you what, I'm going to go and remove this for a second. And yes, I will replace it with a universal depot. Maybe on the other side. There we go. Like that. That's going to be fine. Uh, Earth Mars initiative done. Was that... Yes. That's right. You went from 400 to 500. Some more tech. There's the Mars crowdfunding from our money. Which is good. Because, I mean, we go through a fair amount of cash every time we send one of these rockets. We're going to do that. I think I still will finish productivity training. Because it is... It's fairly cheap, and it's nice, and we'll reveal more. I think the Mars Crown funding is going to be important. We will get credit for completing another tech as well for some bonus money. So that's going to be swell. Okay. And yeah, I do want to expand over there. Um, with a dome, but of course... Uh, what is this one? Average. It might be handy. Um, we can't send people yet, but by the time we finish the dome, we'll be well past the founder stage. So I'm still thinking about building the underground pipe to go over here. Because if I don't, I will have to put, like, an extra drone hub in between just to maintain this little area. And I think in the long run, that's going to end up costing us a lot more. It's interesting that there's little polymer deposits over here. The problem is we need a lot of metal parts to make that go. Now, I could start a second shift, but I don't have the people for that. Still got on metal. I think what we'll probably end up doing... Do we have... We don't have the apartment tech. We don't even have it queued. Hmm... Okay, I think I'm going to go. We're going to get a second standard living quarters over here. Now, to keep people happier, social gaming, luxury. I think I will build a diner. And dome, 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 dome. Services over here. We will build a diner. We might end up building a research lab here, too. So we're going to send more people into here. So we may run a second machine parts factory shift. And I suspect that's exactly what's going to happen. I like that a lot, actually. Um, you know what? Let's not unlock it now, because we don't have the people for it. And if the, one person went there, that would just mean it would run for longer in the day and eat more power. So do something like that. So in one day, we'll start sending some people here. So, I mean, I didn't have to build it quite yet, but it's okay. Um, I think we do need a second Moxie. Um, just to make sure oxygen generator is okay. Well, although we are going to at some point... No. Wrong tech. There is a Moxie upgrade tech, but we don't have it yet. I don't think we've gotten any upgrade techs yet. Resources are low. Machine parts is low, yeah. Well, we're at 10 now. It is letting you know. I think I think it automatically sort of checks to see if like your ratio is going to if it figures it might last less than like, I don't know, 10 days or something like that given your current numbers. Uh, which is nice. It's nice to get the notice here. But our machine parts are okay. Especially with the buffer. I'm happy we brought 10 parts. Because it should keep things flowing smoothly. This is still being unloaded so slowly. It might not have enough room for everything, but that's okay. More anomalies, which every time that pops up is handy. Because it reminds me to send out my dude. Um, Those are actual science beakers. Very far away. Let's finish this area over here. Again, this will reveal a breakthrough. Nice to see as many of them as possible. Because, again, some of them could be really powerful, and we do get bonus money for uncovering breakthroughs. we got a power shortage here. Really? During the day? I mean, I know we built a couple extra buildings, but... I'm quite surprised. I think what I'm going to do is I will build a few more wind turbines. And they need a few more parts, and they need they need um, machine parts to be maintained, which does add up. But we might do that and a couple of um, solar panels, because again, our biggest uh, power hit actually is during the day when all the fact when all the industries are running, right? So yeah, that's probably okay. Productivity training is done, so our people are a little bit better. And what did we reveal? Martian education. That's the uh, Martian University, which trains unspecialized people. So if we look over here at our dome. Um, I guess the easiest place might be to go over here. Resource overview, colonist overview. 
Resources are low. Here it is, traits. So Fiverr people don't have any specialization. So wherever they work, they basically want to work at 50% or something like that, because they have a minus 50 modifier to whatever their job is. Um, there we go. See, this is the same thing if you've got the mismatch. So a scientist is the same as untrained when it comes to working at the farm. So you get the minus 50 over there. So you're just half as good as the right thing. So the university will train people up. And by default, it's smart enough to automatically train people based on jobs that we have demand for. Whole polarization breakthrough. Buildings require maintenance less often. Oh, that's really good. That's going to save us so many parts. I think we're actually going to prioritize that first. I'll finish magnetic extraction because it's a breakthrough, which will give us extra money. We've got some research towards it. That's all fine. But yeah, less maintenance saves us so many parts. Uh, oh, something interesting. So not an anomaly. Hmm. Sometimes they do have a tendency to break down your explorer, but I'm sure we'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? So we have a huge power surplus at night. I mean, we did just go and build a ton of wind turbines here, but we are going to be expanding a lot and putting a lot more requirement Sector in. Scanned. So without more machine parts, we really can't build our tunnel. And that's what I'm looking for. I think we do have a rocket that we've sent back, right? We don't have a ton of money, but I'm wondering if I should just spend what money I've got on just a bunch of machine parts. To help with the tunnels. Oh yeah, it might be like way more than we need. I think machine parts are relatively cheap. Here, we'll get some spare polymers and electron. I'm going to go ahead and do this. As far as I know, launching the rocket by itself doesn't cost money. So if you if you only send a half full rocket, it's not too bad. I'd have to double check. We Obviously, it hits us for more fuel. Magnificent vista at the side of the anomaly. Ooh. After watching the cold splendor of the Red Planet for so long, Mission Control was awestruck by the beautiful footage provided by an intrepid reconnaissance vehicle. 50 new applicants are available on Earth. Oh, well, that's nice. Hopefully, and I think, you know, they're randomly generated, so some of them might have really, really strong traits. So you're going to go and charge up. There's an anomaly way over here. I'm thinking that anomaly was triggered by a meteorite strike, because this we haven't actually explored this yet. In history. We are done our founder stage. Evaluated positively, additional colonists will be called, can be called from Earth. Yes. Okay. And we will be doing that soon, probably as soon as this rocket gets filled up. We will go and send it to Earth. Slowly trickling in some fuel over here. Yeah, we're, we're basically using the fuel as soon as we get it to go and fuel these things up, which is fine, but we'll be looking to upgrade that later on. So yeah, once that rocket lands, we'll be in a really, really good place. That's low to, um, to build our tunnels. So I'm going to start with the far end first, because we know we're going to want to connect somewhere vaguely over here. So I'm going to tunnel there. Oh, meteor shower. Good. And then the other end, and you can put it, the other end anywhere. It's like there's a range limit. You can see that's too far here, but they've got pretty good reach. Actually, that's too far over there. So we're basically making the longest tunnel we can. Um, the tunnels, as far as I know, don't need maintenance. So I'm going to go and put it right there. A little overlap on that weak um, concrete is fine. So that I'm going to drop the priority on the tunnels just in case there is a part requirement for anything else this is going to eat a lot of machine parts but again we're about to ship some more hopefully we can land during a meteor storm that would be really annoying if we couldn't and the tunnels wait what oh is it because i set the other end of the tunnel first why are you don't you can't reach over there well it's fine though because the way these things work. I don't think they're supposed... I think they got a little confused here. They actually shouldn't be working the other end. It doesn't matter. You can you can build either end of the tunnel. Like, as it can get constructed at either end, and it completes both ends simultaneously. I just wasn't expecting that. Hopefully, they don't get smacked by meteorites along the way. Speaking of, I need to make sure all my drones are home. Well, we've got time before this meteor storm to maybe sneak in this research over here. So, I'm going to do that. It's a little bit... Um, a little greedy, but I think it's okay. Uh, the RC rover is safely at home. The transport is safely at home. I mean, the important thing is that the rover is safely at home, so that um, sector scanned. I'll split them up a little bit uh, because we don't want this thing to get smashed because it's going to have to go and repair any of these things that get destroyed. Yeah, see, you're out of power. Actually, no, it's the dust accumulation, so you're going to need maintenance. I'm going to cancel. Oh, it was probably something weird with the priority of the tunnel that got screwed up. 
that's probably is probably treating both ends of the tunnel as technically within range but this one was set to low priority let's see if i do this and lower that does it lower both ends no i guess it lowers both ends it must be because of where i started yeah you start here and they drop it off there okay i think that might be a bug I think they might, that might be the sort of thing they resolve, because clearly my drones shouldn't be working over there. And yeah, these things being out of juice is a little annoying, and they might get smooked by a rocket. But, speaking of rockets, um, I think I'm going to put it over... Oh no, there. here's got to be within range. So if I do this, we can get a bunch of new machine parts, which is good, because we've been low. We're going to need some extra parts to go and repair what's being smacked here. Um, and then we can go and build this tunnel. Anomaly analyzed, milestone achieved. We researched our first breakthrough. Hello. So now, uh, RC Explorer, please come home. And which one was that? That was this one, Magnetic Extraction. So, my water extractor over here. So I can upgrade you. Okay, it's a very expensive upgrade. Five electronics. The machine parts doesn't matter as much. The electronics are pretty um, pretty painful. But 50% uh, production boost. Now, we're not at our production cap on this extractor yet, so it's not a big deal. Um, I don't really feel like I need the boost over here. Although, it is worth noting... Oh, you're full. Um, it is worth noting that, um, you know, in a sense, it'll it'll just empty its area faster, which I guess saves power in the long run. That's one way to think about it. I'm going to put you, yeah, right next to the drone hub. Um, so in a sense, that works, but I don't think it's worth the mineral uh, cost, not for the concrete. It'll be really nice for the metal and the rare metals, and maybe if we get run into water problems later on. Right, so that was that was magnetic extraction. That was the one we already had. And so we got a bunch of cash from that. I mean, we... Not much, clearly, but still some, technically. Hull polarization is going to be beautiful. I'm still going to like the Mars crowdfunding for a bunch of cash. So the tech over here, again, it's going to be random order every time we play. So you could get... <laughs> Putin. Uh, <laughs> uh, you could get this, like, as one of your very first techs, and it would be a lot cheaper. I still would like... Oh, that's the medium drones. Or but medium domes. We actually might want to prioritize medium domes. Really avoid building the small ones. I mean, I still want the Logi high rise. And when we get more people, the Logi fungi is nice because it does build outside of the domes. So it saves more room inside. The Logi fungi also gives you food every day as opposed to sort of like bursty food. Alright, 60%. Then you do potatoes. Random polymers on the ground. It is funny that there are some random polymers on the ground from all the meteor strikes. Meteor storm in 17 hours. And I'm going to keep saying, like, meteor inappropriately when I should be talking about meteor right strikes. But it's because it's meteor storm. So it's meteors until it hits the ground, then it's a meteor right. Because words are dumb. <laughs> uh, and hard to follow. Um, we might need a little bit more storage just to make sure that this gets emptied. Um, in time. Because what will happen, it's kind of a little annoying. It's going to be, like, blinking that, like, hey, it's full and ready to take off. But it's like still got good, so you don't actually want to take off right away. So I'm just going to do that. Make sure we've got plenty of storage space <clears throat> for the polymers and electronics. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> this concrete extractor is still having a little bit of problem because it is extracting very quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> My throat is a little bit kerfuffled here. Um, and the drones are pretty busy doing other things, unloading this. They're going to be especially busy once they have to restore everything from the meteor storm. Now, we could get lucky... And the meter storm could hit somewhere else. Yeah, hopefully we've got enough redundancy in our in our production. I mean, if something hit here and destroyed all these pipes, that could be pretty bad news. But going forward, what's going to happen? Um, I mean, obviously this is going to kind of connect it up, right? I'm not going to rush it until it's done. But this can be connected, and then we'll have another source of places generating Dust oxygen and water. And having some storage for it at the other end. So that way, if something happens to these guys over here, we can still get fed in from here. We'll still need a fair amount of redundancy in storage, but I think we're going to be okay long run. So that's going to be ready to take off soon. It might not be able to take off during a meteor storm. And then we got a dust storm right after that. Hooray! Everything is bad. Everything sucks all the time. Building not working. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Tell you what I'm going to do. And turn off your nighttime production for a little bit. Research complete. We'll drain the batteries at night a little bit less. Not that I think we have to, a problem with uh, the wind turbines we've got. The thing is, at some point, we might want to tear down these wind turbines to regain the material and spend less maintenance over here once we get the upper ridge. Because 
Like, in a sense, once they're built, they're built, and destroying them will... Oh, hull polarization so good. In a sense, that'll sort of waste half the material that we use to construct it, but the maintenance savings might be really nice. Buildings require maintenance less often. I mean, obviously, the disasters will still hurt our buildings a lot, but just generally, that's going to save so much drone time and so much little material. So we still have plenty of stuff in the queue, so I'm not going to worry about doing anything like that. There you go, got some more funding from another Human breakthrough. Humankind might be on the verge of a new golden Aha. age. And we have to be the ones who ride the crest of that wave. Indeed. So you get this sort of extra mission evaluation. Now, I don't know if if you fail to complete this, does it like GG game over you? I don't know. Um, it might, it might. But there's this extra goal. Now the game, so we have to have 40 technologies research at Soul 100. Um, and I can tell you, if we reach Soul 100 and we evaluate positively, like, the game doesn't end there. Um, it might just be sort of a soft goal to, like, you know, give you interesting things to do for score, not the score matters for anything. But, um, so I don't know. It could be that your mission's considered a failure if you don't do that. I'm gonna get this rocket to take off. Oh, no, it still have bits inside. I'm gonna get it to take off before the dust storm started. So, there's a meteor storm going on. Oh, it might be south of our place. Excellent. Now, I mean, we still might get a few strays over here, but, like, we got really unlucky with the first one, that it was centered directly on our base. Now, as we expand, more of our base will consistently be hit by, by these meteor storm events, certainly, just by virtue of the fact that we're there. Uh, you've got a slight boost, but not much. We're basically out of places that are getting a real sensor tower boost, but, I mean, we could still queue things up, it's fine. And I probably will, but we'll look to increase that. Okay, are you empty yet? No, not quite. It will give you a warning if you try to launch. It'll be like, uh, are you sure? Because there's still some resources on there, and, Sector you know, scan. seems pretty dumb. Anomaly found. All right, you're done. And you are blinking, so presumably we can lift off during a meteor storm. Okay. More anomalies. Um, so with the dust storm, I mean, the explorer might have some problems, but I think I'm still going to go and send you out. Worst case scenario, we send out the rover afterwards to, to clean you up, get you taken care of. Okay. Tunnel coming along, still waiting for machine parts. We've got tons of machine parts in here. We actually, because we've got the machine part production, like, we might want to get an extra machine part storage over here, but I think we're okay. So we'll probably send more people down. When that rocket makes it to Earth, I think we're going to do that. We've got plenty of room for people. Uh, food is going up. We did ship a little bit of it, but not that much. Our farming's working well. Soil quality is up to 70%. We're going to get a big potato harvest here, which will drop the soil quality down again, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm feeling fairly secure about getting another group of people. And then, yeah, working the double shift over at the machine part factory will be very good. You need electronics to be maintained. Man, that hurts. That does hurt a lot. Yeah, I think, like, my favorite breakthrough, right, is this whole polarization. I don't know if I've seen it before. But I think this one may be one of my favorites, because I don't know, you know, how less often less often is, but even if it's 10% less, the time and resource saving over the course of a campaign, like, it's, I'm really pumped about it. Yeah, we got lots of material. I'm feeling very good about expansions right now. Um, I still wonder, I think we might want a drone hub over here. Actually, I just realized, technically, I don't think this... Oh, it's being worked by the rover. If there was no rover over here, you wouldn't actually have any maintenance. We'll definitely want a drone hub over here. If nothing else, it'll help move around the metal and stuff a lot faster. Mars crown funding is scan. done. Nice. Uh, we scanned the anomaly for a bunch of science. We did find some more anomalies. Good. So our queue's still fine. We've got the bigger dome. Yes. Followed by the apartments. I'm really excited about that. We actually might want to consider, like, the bigger rocket thing so we can get more people suddenly. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the low G fungi over here. Because... It is fairly quick to research, and will give us a neat food option. Now, I don't remember if it's a breakthrough or something that shows up in biotech, but at some point there is a technology that gives bonus comfort in domes that have farms, so we might still want to have a farm in each dome. But in with the bigger ones, one farm probably won't be enough to do the food, so we'll still want the fungus stuff, and it still gives us a nice little buffer. Um, I want, before I forget, I want to get an RC Explorer queued up to check out another anomaly up here. I might actually just let this thing run out of power up here, and then we'll like we'll get back to you. Oh, this is going to be a funky event. Just in case it destroys the rover, I'm going to go for the uh, the flask first, and then we'll come back to it. And yeah, the idea will be we're going to complete this, and we're going to build the medium dome over here so that we can work the metals 
or the, the metals and the rare metals as well. Rare metals will be great for electronics. This this low quality metals is still going to be worth mining for the long run because at some point we're going to run out of the easy to get surface deposits. So thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you guys next time.